Good afternoon. Right, it is windy, but I'm going to try a new technique. I think what I'm going to do to try and keep the wind noise down is film as much as a can of this crouching. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. It's looking really good. The plants are growing. Everything's doing nicely. And the pests are pesting. We've got asparagus beetles. Let's have a look. There's one. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. That's an asparagus beetle. They um they lay their eggs all over the asparagus, which hatch out into larvae, and munch your asparagus to pieces. There's another one. Yeah, they'll ruin it if I leave them. I've got to get rid of them. Um, I've finished cropping the asparagus now. I've been harvesting it for about six weeks. What I need to do now is, as you can see, I need to let the shoots actually grow up into ferns and flower uh, so that they can replenish their energy for next year. Um, now, what I've been trying with these asparagus beetles is uh, something I've only recently become aware of. This neem oil. It's a natural oil from an Indian tree called Azadiracta indica. And people use it for, uh, people spray horses with it to keep insects away. Um, but you can also spray plants with it. Um, now, although it is an insecticide, if you use it properly, you're not going to be doing any damage to, uh, to the beneficial insects, the pollinators. The way this stuff works is it will destroy anything that munches greenery or sucks sap. It will kill those, but it won't kill bees, butterflies, anything like that. Um, what you do have to watch out for is ladybirds. Um, if you've got ladybirds on a plant and you spray them, they won't like it. Um, so I've been checking, and you don't get ladybirds on asparagus anyway, but I've been checking, and if, there's a, if, if I were to find a, a ladybird, I'd just knock it off first before I start spraying the, um, the beetles. But uh, those beetles are definitely compromised. I sprayed them probably about half an hour ago. And the fact that I was just able to pull one up to the camera and show you without it legging it, which is what they usually do. You go near them and they're, they're off. That one just sat there looking at me like an idiot. So I'd say it's on its way out. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm, I'm happy to use it knowing that I can use it safely. Um, we'll just see how, how effective it is. 